we've been having a blast playing my GM mode. I gotta show my NBA era some love, especially because they added the Steph Curry era. And if you can't tell what team I will be using, <laughs> I will be using my New York Knicks every time they make the playoffs in real life obviously i'm going to go to a playoff game i got this shirt from back in april when i went to see them at the garden game two against the philadelphia 76ers where dante divincenzo hit that three-point shot to give us the win Unfortunately, I don't have the shot itself, but it was crazy. I had some pretty decent seats. I was behind the basket, and I was on the side that it happened on. Melo was there as well. It was lit, bro. It's definitely lit. But nonetheless, Steph Curry era, the New York Knicks. Y'all know I had to rebuild the New York Knicks first when I hopped into this era, primarily because during the Steph Curry era, we sucked badly, bro. Badly. Now, I don't know what year this era is going to start from, so I'm going to stop yapping. We're going to hop into the rebuild, but all I know is that it's going to be fun. Disclaimer, it's not going to be realistic. I'm a New York Knicks fan, bro. I'm getting every... I'm creating a super team, bro. This is not realistic at all, so if you guys are expecting a realistic rebuild, it ain't going to happen over here. Anyways, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince YouTube PS Compulsion signing in here, a.k.a. Prince Anthony, let's get things rolling, bro. The Steph Curry era. Early in the Warriors dynasty, how long can Steph and Durant dominate the league before Eagles and the luxury tax dismantle the team? Let's get this rolling, baby. So the Steph era, a new simplified timeout system, all-star teams drafting, coaches can challenge calls in 2019, play and added in 2020, okay. So those are some of the major changes. You guys can read through that. Oh, yeah, the custom draft. Well, the realistic draft class, the 2017 draft class. So this is starting in 2016. And look at this draft class. Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell. I'm, a, I'm going after Donovan Mitchell during the offseason, most definitely, because I know this team sucks. So we definitely got to do whatever we could do to grab Donovan Mitchell. So for my NBA errors, once again, we cannot create our own custom phase. At least we could do it for my GM, so that's all that matters. So... They have the badges that you can add to your player to and all that stuff. I normally unequip all. I don't need any of those things to like win a championship. Like I don't really care about none of that. Uh, so the name, you guys already know. Every time I do a rebuild, I create my own custom player GM, Mark Banks. Man, this bring back so many memories, bro. 2016, my first year in college, bro. Insane. What a time to be alive. Af right after summer 16. So that means the Cavs won the championship. They're the defending champions. But looking at our roster, it sucks, bro. I remember this team like the back of my hand. Where's Courtney Lee? Courtney Lee was on this team. Um, Lance Thomas, I believe, was on the team. Crazy. Let's look at some of the other teams, though. Julius Randle and the Young Lakers. The Lakers low-key had a squad back then. If they kept all these players, D'Angelo Russell, Randle, Clarkson, Larry Nance Jr., Brandon Inc. Come on now. So the Magic, who really cares about that? CJ Watson is in the game. Jody Meeks. Dirk is still in the league. Oh, man. Looking at the Brooklyn Nets. Brooke Lopez was the man back then. Jeremy Lin was on the team. I totally forgot he was in Brooklyn during that time. A young Joker. Young Joker alert. Jameer Nelson. Manuel Moutier is on the squad. Kenneth Fareed. Nah, this was back when Ben Simmons was good. A 79 overall is crazy for Ben Simmons in today's age. He's like a 70 at least. <laughs> Jimmy Butler, Dwayne Wade. Y'all remember when Dwayne Wade joined? The, not the Miami, the Chicago Bulls. after, And then he got traded back to Miami for his farewell tour. K-Love, Kyrie, and LeBron James. One of the best Cleveland Cavaliers team of all time. Can't nobody tell me otherwise. This team was dope as heck. J.R. Smith on the team. Oh, man. Oh, prime Isaiah Thomas on the Boston Celtics. Into, yo, this whole roster, 
is is crazy bro so nostalgic trying to get rid of some of these custom players on the team i normally try to trade them for picks however one player that i want to get rid of before we even get to the offseason is jo joakim no literally we signed him to one of the worst contracts in nick's history bro literally so i will take them out of the deal i'm trying to get rid of both of them so maybe joe keem no one-on-one -on -one for jeremy grant i don't know if they're going oh philly accepted the deal losing season for us can we get 30 wins for the season 29 wins steph curry mvp of course is his era because of course rookie of the year is ben simmons ha laughable today huh very laughable today joker most improved they don't even know what's about to happen to the league, bro. They don't know what's about to happen to the league. We're from the future. So we're about to do some crazy stuff in this rebuild. So let's skip all the way to the end of the postseason. Your NBA champions, the Golden State Warriors. Because of course, I remember during this time, there was so many teams doing like a team rebrand. It was insane. I was like, sheesh, almost every team like changing their logo, their uniforms, doing something. But anyway, skipping to the NBA draft lottery. Well, first the league meetings is here. Those stuff has been approved. I'm not touching that. So we have a 7.8 chance of getting the seventh overall pick. And we... God is looking out for me, bro. Literally hopped up to the second overall pick in the NBA draft. We're getting Donovan Mitchell. We're either getting jo Donovan Mitchell or Jason Tatum. I totally forgot about the staff. Who was our coach at the time? Oh, yeah, Jeff Hornacek. <laughs> ah, laughable. Definitely laughable. Everybody here getting fired. Don't really mess too much with the staff during rebuilds, but here it is. First official, well, not necessarily. My assistant GM, Serena Martin, her stats are, like, amazing. I was going to actually make her head coach to be the first ever female head coach. But I went with Oliver Gordon. Potential is up there. Almost five stars. Come on now. Welcome to the 2017 NBA Draft. So let's see. I kind of want to see the mock draft. The Kings are expected to take... I thought Jason Tatum was going to go number one. I don't care about Tatum. I Now nah, they got Donovan Mitchell going number one. Now I got to come up with a deal to get Donovan Mitchell. Because no way I'm letting y'all get him. Come on now. I'm going to have to strike up a deal with who is it the kings the sacramento kings they already got the marcus cousins no absolutely not bro absolutely not all right let's see what deal i could put together oh yeah they hit me with that counter offer they want a second rounder and a custom player that i don't even know for the second overall pick i'm doing it of course let's go so we traded for the first overall pick we traded our second overall pick <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, with the first pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Donovan Mitchell, which is what we should have did instead of drafting Frank Nielakina. I'm never going to forgive them for doing that. Really don't need any of these second round draft picks. I try to get realistic players, so there's no realistic players here, so it's no sense in me like trying to do that. Keeping those picks is what I mean. Anyways, time to trade the rest of these created custom players like i said i like the realistic players if i could just trade them all for draft picks i'll do that and oh san antonio spurs a top three protected first rounder i will do it there you go trade complete so ladies and gentlemen it is done we can skip to the end of the nba draft donovan mitchell we got him going number one not many players on our team to begin with anyways team options of course i'm picking it up on kp i totally forgot he was on his rookie deal totally totally forgot about that donovan mitchell we got him bro definitely got him so we got a big three kp Melo, and donovan mitchell and whoever else we could get steph curry kd both of those players are free agents i bet you one of them are going to leave golden state i could promise you that i'm hoping one of them does at least because i'm not trying to deal with that but pretty good free agents here the only thing i cared about to be very honest with you was just signing as many players as possible and filling out the team i got a lot of players on team options which is what i love to do during rebuilds derrick rose i'm not bringing him back unfortunately i was going to bring him back and trade him but nah so we filled out the roster the best that i can 
KP, the best player on our team, 87 overall, Melo right behind him. He's on the decline. So I feel like we only got like three seasons to win Melo a ring before he retires and he hits probably like below an 80 overall. We got Donovan Mitchell, Willie Hernan Gomez still on the team and the rest of the team, we filled it out pretty okay. Position by position, I feel like we got a decent amount of players. I don't think we're making the postseason next season, but let's see. So this season actually is not that bad. Looks like we're gonna finish above 500. Are we 42 and 40? James Harden MVP averaging 35. James Harden was destroying the league during these few years, bro. During the Steph Curry era, James Harden was going off. If Harden won some rings during this era, it would have been his era, to be honest with you. Brandon Ingram, most improved player. The Lakers better keep that core together. They better keep that core together. So we are the seventh seed in the Eastern Conference. First round matched up against the Boston Celtics and Isaiah Thomas. And Jalen Brown, a young Jalen Brown, when he had that mohawk. Crazy. Crazy times, bro. Crazy times. But it looks like our team is pretty decent. I would say 42 and 40 for the season is not bad at all. So let's see. The season stats. Carmelo's injured. Yeah, we're definitely getting swept. So Melo, KP, and Donovan Mitchell. That's our big three, so I don't mind. My money's on Golden State winning the championship again. We have been eliminated. We won one game against the Boston Celtics. The Cavs are your NBA champions yet again. So LeBron wins two rings with Cleveland. So I just had to look at the roster really quick. And Kevin Durant is injured. That's why they didn't win the championship, of course. But Steph Curry is on the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, right. Let's see who's retiring. Vince Carter, Paul Pierce, Dirk. Oh, man. Childhood right there, bro. Paul Gasol. More team rebrands. The shot clock resets. The partial duration. One possession. Blah, blah. I don't care. So, skipping all that stuff. Time for the draft lottery yet again. We made the playoffs, so I don't expect, like, a good pick this year, which... Is basically shown we are getting the 17th pick because I had some good contracts on my book it's time to get rid of them so this deal is actually gonna do me justice I'm trading for some first rounders because it comes in handy in the future for trade so I'm trading a lot of the older players for first rounders definitely trying to keep the team a little bit on the younger end good mix of vets and younger players Isaiah Hartenstein we could get him from the Spurs Definitely got to do it. Trade a 29-year-old for a 20-year-old. Let's get it. So we're on the clock right now with our pick. And there's some pretty good players here. But my guy Jalen Brunson is here. I got a draft. I don't even need to see anybody else. The future king of New York is in the draft. I got to get him. Another good pickup for us, Gary Trent Jr. His overall is very low. Very, very, very low for some reason. But nonetheless... We got him on the squad. I did my pre-workouts with both of them, and we ended up getting them on the team, which is really, really good. Pending options, picking up the team option, and Carmelo's coming back. He opted into his contract as well, 27 mil. Too much for Melo. I'm taking a little bit of a different approach to how we're building this team as of right now. I feel like Donovan Mitchell, KP, and Melo, they're set in their positions so, like, we really need a better point guard and power forward, and I feel like these pickups right here is going to solidify that. And a good tool guard coming off the bench behind Donovan Mitchell and Josh Richardson. And we get Christian Wood, Greg Monroe. I'm going to move him to the power forward position and have the Twin Towers down low. Greg Monroe and KP? Oh, yeah, this deal is going to be perfect, bro. We definitely have the cap space to get him to or absorb the contract, I should say. So, Ty Lawson and Joe Harris... For Jordan Clarkson from the Los Angeles Lakers, we really need a better point guard. And our point guards are not the best as of this moment. We just got Brunson. Ty Lawson is like literally 5'11". He's very, very small. Very short for... Pause. Very short for his position. And then Brandon Jennings is a small, two guard, um, small point guard as well. So this is a good deal for us. Definitely a good deal for us. Thank you, LA. So looking at the player progression, KP up to a 90. Carmelo surprisingly went up, and Donovan Mitchell shot up by six points. That's insane. That's really insane right there. But Greg Monroe going down a little bit because I changed it to the power forward position just to even out the roster. You know, you know my motto when it comes to doing rebuilds. I try to make sure there's not too many players at one position. 
And I feel like this team is evenly distributed pretty well. I feel like we're going to win 45 games this season. We still need our young guys developing. Ah, there we go. So my prediction was right. I said 45 wins and we finished the season with 46. That's what I want to see. LeBron, MVP, Luka, Rookie of the Year. That's dope. That's dope right there, bro. So we actually had a pretty good season. That's what I want to see. We are the sixth seed in the East, and we're facing off against the Celtics again in the first round. This time they have Russell Westbrook, 98 overall. So he left OKC. Prime Westbrook left OKC to go to Boston to join Jalen Brown. Crazy. I wonder what team Tatum is on. But looking at how our players did this season, Melo, KP, and Donovan Mitchell. That's all that really matters right there. Got to make sure they're scoring. Definitely not competing for a championship this season. And we get swept by the Boston Celtics. So we lost to Boston two years in a row. And now the Minnesota Timberwolves are your NBA champions. Carl Anthony Towns? This is a good amount of rule changes added to the league at this time. Also some more team rebrands, of course. So the draft lottery, we're a good team now. We don't have any pick. Via OKC, we have the fourth overall pick in this year's NBA draft. Oh, yeah, the rebuild is done. I know exactly what we're about to do. Bro, you know who I'm going after. It's Zion goes number one. PJ Washington goes number two. I got to get this pick from the Milwaukee Bucks. I got to get this pick from Milwaukee. Milwaukee, please do not make this harder than it needs to be, bro. Do not make this harder than it needs to be. I need this pick. If we get this pick, the rebuild is done. Still not trying to trade that pick, bro. Okay, so for the third pick, I'll give you the fourth pick. JJ Hicks and Brandon Ingram. Another first rounder. And I'll throw in another first rounders. That's three first rounders all together. From Milwaukee, they accepted the deal. Ladies and gentlemen, the rebuild is complete. The rebuild is over because with the third overall pick, we are not drafting RJ Barrett. We are drafting Ja Morant. Let's go. It's over. It's over. I just made a super team, bro. I just made a super team. I had to do it. I had to do it. Oh, man. RJ Barrett goes to the Heat. But we got Ja Morant. So Ja Morant, we got with the third pick. I'm not signing that last guy. Definitely not. And Grant Williams. Definitely need a third string power forward. Oh, my goodness. This is is done bro look at all these beautiful team options this is exactly why i assign players to team options bro and then if you don't want them anymore you just trade them trade them for a pick flip them for a second round first round pick oh man i'm so hyped right now oh no you don't buddy kp is accepted to accept he's prepared i said accepted what am i talking about no redos so kp was about to accept the deal from the hawks we get to match it because he's a restricted free agent i wanted chris middleton on the team but we're not going to be able to get him because i was going to get chris middleton then move mellow to the power four position if we could keep kp so it looks like that's not going to happen so i based on the cap space that we have i am going to keep kp mellow and bring in t ross so that works. Your services are no longer needed, bro. He didn't even go up. It's still a 68 overall is insane. So trading you for a future pick. Gary Trent Jr. not on the team anymore. So skip into player progression. There we go. So here we are. Player progression. KP is still a 90. Donovan Mitchell is now an 88 overall. Carmelo's going down a little bit. 35 years old. But I think this is the best chance you got to get a ring. Ja Morant, bro. We got Ja on the team. We got good amount of backups. On the team as well. T. Ross. Jordan Clarkson is going to be a backup now. We still got Jalen Brunson. He's going up. So whenever Clarkson can't play. Jalen Brunson is right there. Isaiah Hartenstein. Christian Wood. Greg Monroe. Yo. This is a good team. This right here. I feel like we can make it to the conference finals. I don't know if we're going to win a championship this year. We probably need one more year to let the players develop. But obviously now we got a big three with KP, Donovan Mitchell, and John Morant. Melo, you're no longer a part of the big three, although your overall is up there. But we're going to get you a ring. We're going to get you a ring, bro. I mean, it makes sense to sign him, especially to a lower deal than before. And I got the team option on his car on his contract. I was going to say Clarkson. On his Clarkson. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, man. But nonetheless, trying to re-sign players before we even get to the offseason. And then if I don't want to, I just trade them. That's the best part about it. But one person that I am going to trade, though, Willie Hernan Gomez. He's not re-signing with the team. This just makes sense. Willie Hernan Gomez, right? Body health, not the best. 
a little bit older. I could trade for a young Robert Williams and a second round pick. This is definitely going to help us come postseason time. Thank you, San Antonio Spurs, once again. What a season, bro. Ah, man, we couldn't get to 60 wins, but 59. Westbrook MVP, Zion Rookie of the Year, should have been John Moran, but we do have a lot of scoring options on our team. So we really don't need any... Oh, Coach of the Year, Oliver Gordon. 59 wins for us, bro. 59. So we are the fourth seed with 59 wins in the Eastern Conference. I know the Eastern Conference probably got a lot of players from the West, like in terms... We won eight games in a row to end the season. Philly got 60... That's insane. Hold on. I got to look at the stats. I'm all over the place right now. So right now, KP, Melo, Donovan Mitchell, John Morant, those are our main scorers. We really don't need any more offensive players on our team. All right, let's indulge in this playoff run. Washington Wizards, Bradley Beal, and the Joker, and Zion Williamson is insane. I'm going to sim this first round. If we can't make it past the first round, we have no business being in the postseason. So we made it to the next round against the Sixers. This is why they won 60 games. They got Chris Paul, Ben Simmons. Who's averaging 26 points in the playoffs? Yeah, right. 93 overall. Insane. Joel Embiid is still on the team. Sheesh. That's a good team. They got Josh Hart. Oh, my goodness. I had to rebuild the rotations, make sure that we're good for this series because it's looking like we're going to need a lot of help. So, I'm going to send the game. Oh, no, wait. We made it to the next round. I actually meant to do game by game. Oh, we made it to the next round, so it doesn't even matter. So we are in the East Finals against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kyrie, LeBron, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson. They kept that team together, but it looks like the rest of the team is pretty trash. They put they could have put some more like good players around them. But let me fix the rotations again. I always rebuild the rotations after every series that I sim, primarily because like they be doing some BS in terms of the rotations. So let's see. I'm gonna do game by game. This is what I meant to do in the last round against Philly. 2-1 series lead. Series is tied at two apiece. We got a 3-2 series lead against the Cavs. Please, we cannot blow this. We definitely cannot blow this lead. So, you guys already know, hopping into that Simcast. It's looking like we might get the dub. It's looking like we might get the dub. Got a good lead heading into the fourth. We're still up. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen... Your Eastern Conference champions, the New York Knicks. Melo in a closeout game drop in 24. Therapeutic. There's literally no way we don't win the NBA championship. We just beat Braun. Prime LeBron. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Definitely winning the championship this season. We have to. I don't know who we're going to face in the finals, but Jalen Brunson and Melo holding a championship together is crazy. Or an Eastern Conference championship, I should say. Still a championship. That's dope. Let's see what the Kings got to offer. Darren Collison, Miles Bridges, John Collins, James Harden, Tyson Chandler, DeMarcus Cousins. Prime James Harden. Averaging 26 in the playoffs. Prime DeMarcus Cousins. Averaging 25. To be honest, if this was to happen in real life, the Kings would win a championship. I don't know if we're going to win the chip now. Game one is ours. Game two is ours. Okay, yeah, we definitely got to win the chip now. Come on now. Hop into that Simcast. Porzingis is injured, though. We need him for that matchup against the Marcus Cousins. And Robert Williams is injured. Okay, KP could play through his injury. Okay. But both of our big men being injured against the Marcus Cousins, that's barbecue chicken. But let's see if we could take that 3 0 series lead. Yeah, we're getting spanked, bro. Oh my goodness. Okay, the lead is not too. It's a 10 point game. Yeah, it looks like we're not winning. That's fine. So we lost by single digits. I don't really mind. I'm going to sim the next game because... Oh, I thought they were going to tie the series, but we got 3-1 series lead. Jalen Brunson is now injured. What is going on? So Brunson injured. KP is injured. Robert Williams is injured. KP could play through his injury, though, which is all that... I don't care about anything else. You got to play through it, bro. It's the finals we're talking about. Let's bring this chip home. Let's bring it to New York. So far, this game is tied. Oh, my goodness. Game is coming down to the wire. It looks like we're not going to win this game. Looks like we're not going to win on our home court, bro. Ah, oh, man, we're not. So we get spanked. Ah, <sighs> please. I'm not trying to go to a game seven with this team. Definitely not trying to go. Sheesh. We are getting spanked right out the gate. I know James Harden is having a field day. 
him and DeMarcus Cousins are probably going crazy. So we are going to a game seven against the Sacramento Kings. We got injured players. Who else is injured on their squad? Darren Collison. Oh my goodness. This is too much. JJ Barea, Miles Bridges. Oh my goodness. This game is up in the air. I don't know if we're going to be able to win, but let's see. So, so far, so good. Game is looking like it's going back and forth. I want to hop in and low-key watch like the rest of it, but I'm scared. Come on, we got to win this championship. We got to end it. Two-point game right now in the fourth quarter. We're pulling away a little bit, it looks like. Slowing down the sim. And it looks like we're pulling away. We are pulling away, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it. There we go. Eight-point lead. 33 seconds remaining. The game is done. KP in a closeout game. 20 points. Jordan Clarkson came to ball. 23 Donovan Mitchell, Melo did his thing. John Morant, he's still, still a baby. Like, come on now. But, ladies and gentlemen, the rebound's done. He actually did it. And they've done it for new NBA champions. All the travel, all the practices, all the meetings, all the games, wins and losses. The emotion, the exhaustion culminating into tonight. And, and whenever you win the NBA championship, there is... Now, that was a crazy, crazy way to win the playoffs, <laughs> to say the least. John Morant holding the trophy is crazy. I feel like Melo should be holding it on KP, at least. But ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We completed the rebuild. We did it, bro. You're 2000 and... What year? What year is that? 2020 NBA champions? Your Knicks are NBA champions. We did it. Melo got the ring. Brunson got it. James Harden, finals MVP, 36 points per game. I told you he was going crazy, bro. Prime James Harden was insane. Insane when it came to scoring. It was crazy. Let's see. Playoff stats. A lot of our players were injured, but not nobody averaged more than 20. And it makes sense because we have so much scoring options on our team. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, bro, we did it, bro. We did it. That's all that matters. Not going to lie, that reveal was too fun. I had too much fun, bro. It's always fun coming from, like, a future perspective and rebuilding a team because you know who's going to be good and who's not going to be good. I got some more Steph Curry ever rebuilds that I got to do, bro. I definitely got to do some more Steph Curry ever rebuilds, especially because during that time, there was a lot of teams that weren't good. There's a lot of teams that's good now that wasn't good back then. My Knicks was definitely one of them. We didn't make the postseason until like I think 2020 so from 2013 to 2020 while all the Steph Curry era was happening LeBron going to the finals Knicks was not in the playoff contention at all but I'm happy I was able to get Melo a ring KP got a ring Jalen Brunson got a ring Isaiah Hartenstein got a ring listen bro John Morant Donovan Mitchell got a ring crazy bro just crazy but tell me what you guys thought about this rebuild in the comment section below like i said more steph curry era rebuilds to come might do some more lebron james era rebuilds as well you guys know i love the lebron james era but this steph curry era really brought back some memories of when i first went to college 2016 right after summer 2016 it was just a dope time bro definitely a dope time to be a basketball fan it was a lot happening during that era and a lot of these rosters is just like crazy bro it's definitely crazy to see but nonetheless like i said leave those comments for me in the comment section below if you're not subscribed to the channel click my face right there what are you waiting for bro just right there just click my face click subscribe tap the bell icon for notice and you're good bro you're good also click one of the playlists on the screen check out some of my other content i'll see you guys in the next video this is the prince of youtube signing out let's go next